Arrgh, me hearties. We're going to tackle treasuries on Etsy. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh. Hey, uh, sorry I'm out of costume. I had to cut the other video and make it into two videos because it was getting to be a bit too long. So I wanted to do a quick reminder about where a couple things were and then I'll jump back into costume and uh, finish up showing you how to make a treasury. So uh, just a quick refresher real quick. So on Etsy, if you're wanting to make a treasury, and this is without using any of the um, programs or applications that are available, you'll come to the Etsy main page, and then you'll scroll down where it reads more ways to shop, and you will click treasury. And here, um, you will click on create a list. Now as you'll see I'm in Safari so because I'm not in Chrome all of my treasury box um, links that have a little treasure box on them in the other video are not showing up in this one because I'm in Safari. So you would click on create a list and this will pull up the blank template for creating a treasury and this is if you just want to go through and manually put in all the URLs of the items that you want to create a treasury with. So this is the blank one, um, but because I like using treasury box, it makes it way um, easier than clicking back and forth and dropping in and cutting, pasting, cutting, pasting, cutting, pasting, and then manually sending out an email saying, hey, you are in a treasury of mine, because um, treasury box does it all for me. So now I'm going to flip back over, back in the costume. Arr, me hearties. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here we go. Too. Okay, so now we're going to do it. We're going to create a treasury. So here I go. This is my last one that I'm clearing out. I'm using treasury box. So I've already opened up, as you can see up here, all of these um, because I wanted to have it ready to go. Uh, so I wanted to make a treasury called Spring Bling. So it's springtime and I like blingy things. So let's take a peek. So here I've got a shop and I'm finding an item that's blingy and springy. So there we go. That's pretty blingy. Let's drop that in. So now you can see up here there's one item in my treasury box. Close that out. Next. These are pretty blingy, springy, and I, I'm not making it super curated where, you know, all the backgrounds match. Some people get really particular, um, but at this point is just for showing you how to do it. So I'm going to take this one, and you'll see the number coming up on my treasury box. And here we have this. Spring bling. I went through and opened up some shops of people I knew and some I went through my list of people that had uh, had a tra had me in their treasury recently and uh, just kind of opened up all their pages so I have a quick go through to show you how I do it oh those are cute <laughs> little cats let's see okay now here we go now I have to decide on this one not a lot of bling well, this one's kind of blingy. Let's go with it. There we go. No. I said go, you. There you go. Let me check my numbers. I've got nine. All right. Mm, I like that. Yep. All right. So, like I said, some people, you know, you really can get very particular about, oh, it all has to be all orange and white, or it, it's all got to have a white background. All has to have a black background. Okay, now these are not spring or bling. So what I'll do at this point is I'm going to take and put it in one of my folders and close it out. So this is romantic. And this, they're going to be in the... And so I know I've saved her for later. Okay, this one too. Um, let me say... Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to drop this one into a list because it doesn't fit. Do I have one that has hearts? No? Okay, I'll put you in my romantic one. And let's just keep going. You guys are being so patient. Hmm. Let's do this one. Ooh la la. 
Dead air, dead air. Oh well. And here we've got a nice little ponytail, pretty ponytail clasp. Again, not any spring bling there, so I'm going to drop that in my blue folder. And here we've got another one. Oh, this is a jewelry box for your bling. That works. Let's go with it. And here's some more pretty bling. Spring bling. Ooh, it's so hard to choose. I think this one. There we go. All right, and that's the convo. I don't really need that. I don't really need that either. So here we go. We have our 16 items. So now I'm going to click on my treasury box. And here it will give me all the items there. And I'll click on create treasury. Okay, so now I'm ready. Over here I'm clicking, I'm going to type in spring bling. And then my description <laughs> doesn't have to be fancy. Enjoy, if I can spell today. Enjoy some bling for your spring. And then tags, they automatically tag treasury box. Now if you're in teams later, so they'll ask you to tag the team that you're in so that people can find it easier. Um, so I've got bling, I've got spring, I've got pearls, I've got trifari. What else have we got? Necklaces, golly, I can't spell. Necklaces, cat pins, bracelets, and I could get fancier with my descriptions, you know, so people can find it. Uh, tiara, seriously, tiaras. Uh, so you get the idea. So here's my treasury, and then also at this point, you can switcheroo what's going to come first. So you noticed earlier when we were seeing the other people's treasuries on the what's hot page, it had the person and then it only showed the first four on that little line and you had to click on it to open it up to see the rest. So choosing those first four can be pretty um, important for whether or not people are going to go in there and take a peek a leak -a -loo at your treasury. I like that tiara. I think it would look amazing on me. <laughs> Maybe I need it for another video. Hmm. <laughs> How can I justify spending $750? <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> hmm. Oh gosh, okay. What else can I, can I even put up there? See, I like these. I have those white, white backgrounds. That's really nice. And I like the blue background too. So maybe another blue background. Oh, they bumped you off. There we go. All right, so this will be my first line. Okay, and you can rearrange them all the way you want. And then over here we save it out. Saving. So it will go live. And then over here is where I can click send notifications. So I can let everybody know. Now this is, it saved it from my last um, treasury. So you've got to change that title to spring bling. Um, and it, it asks you to make sure you change up your messages a little bit because if you're shooting out the same one every single time, it'll start looking like spam to Etsy and they'll stop your ability to send out messages for a little while. Um, so, yeah. And, and the same reason it'll say skip notifications for the bottom row. Like if you don't want to send out those last few, just so you're not, it doesn't look like you're spamming. But I'm going for it. <laughs> Living on the edge. I'm a pirate. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, save image. This is if you want to share on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, that you created a, a treasury that you, it'll quick, you know, save a ping, open up you. So here it saves it as a picture for me. So I can just share it on uh, Facebook, like I just said, Pinterest, you know, check out my treasury. Um, so that is that. And I hope, let me see if I've covered everything. All right, so yeah, I hope that that uh, explains what treasuries are. I went through a lot, I know, and gosh, I don't even know how long this video went, so I might have to chop it into two. But um, 
Let me know if you have any questions because I know I went pretty quickly and I hope I covered it um, so that you could figure out what, what a treasury is. The most important thing is knowing why you should create and why you want to be in treasuries. And that's because of all the followers that people have and their ability to get have more exposure on their items and on your items. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. And um, yeah, leave me any comments or questions that you have because I can do a follow-up uh, to answer any questions. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. So like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. And make sure to go out and enjoy yourselves, everybody. <laughs> Bye.